One night, a rumble of thunder starts to rain over Kasali. Electricity on outdoor devices intertwines in chaos. All rooms and furniture shake heavily as if the dooming day is about to arrive the next second. Somewhere in this town, a vast spacecraft lands in the field, creating a loud explosion. Soon the news of the UFO spreads all over the country. After analyzing the craft's landing site, the authority concludes that one alien is abandoned by its complices. They then grant permission to people to capture the alien dead or alive. Knowing the news, this boy named Rohit steps into the jungle, hoping to find the alien. He also discovers that the alien has some mysterious power that would change his life forever. Rohit is once a kid that his schoolmates have always bullied. He has no friends who are similar to his age, but only a group of young kids around him instead. There are some reasons why the UFO lands in the town. A signal owned from an old computer summons their way in, and it all has something to do with Rohit's father. Sanjay, an Indian scientist living in Canada with his wife, Sonia. Throughout his life, Sanjay has been attempting to contact aliens by using the gadgets and computers he has created, sending variations of the syllable OM to faraway galaxies with the hope of getting in touch with extraterrestrial life. One day, one evening, Sanjay finally receives a reply, and he is overjoyed as he shares the news with his wife. The following day, the couple drives to the research and space center to share his breakthrough findings. Unfortunately, his colleagues scoff at him and dismiss his claims, leaving him disappointed. As they drive back home, the sky suddenly lights up, and a UFO appears overhead. Sanjay is astonished and sticks his head out of the car window to observe the craft more closely. However, this causes him to lose control of the car, and it flips over. Sonia is thrown out of the car, but Sanjay is less fortunate. The car explodes, killing him instantly. Sonia is left traumatized and can only watch in horror as the event unfolds. After the accident, Sonia loses her support, returns to India, and gives birth to her son, Rohit, in a hill station called Kasali. Rohit was born with a developmental disability as a result of the injury he suffered in the accident while still in his mother, who informs her that although surgery could potentially cure Rohit, Sonia cannot bear the thought of losing Rohit again. Although he is now eight years old, his brain functions at the level of a two and a half year old. Nevertheless, Rohit continues to grow into a happy child under Sonia's love and care. Several years later, Roy grows up as a man with very limited intellect, but with a big heart. He is always surrounded by a group of loyal kid friends. One day when they are out scootering around, Rohit and his friends get into an argument with Raj, the district collector, but Rohit's and his group knock down their motors and run away. While on the other hand, Nisha, a childhood friend of Raj, comes to the town with her parents to meet Raj and his family after 15 years. Rohit's and his young friends come across Nisha in the street and play childish pranks on her. They trick Nisha into taking them to the cinema in the wrong direction guided. But later, when Rohit gets home, his mother, Sonia, condemns him for not being kind to people who are in need of help. She also advises Rohit's to apologize to Nisha for his behavior. That night, Raj's family holds a welcoming party for Nisha. Rohit and his group of kid friends sneak into the party and steal food to eat. However, things get out of control, and Rohit runs away from the party after embarrassing Nisha. The next day, Rohit notices Nisha's car parked outside a salon. He remembers his mother's advice and writes a note apologizing for his behavior. However, he naively places some chewing gum on her car seat hoping to make the note stick. Before he can finish the test, Raj and his friends arrive and accuse Rohit of pulling another prank by sticking them in the car. They assume he is not genuinely apologizing to Nisha. Meanwhile, Nisha arrives and accuses Rohit of harassing her at the party the night before. Raj and his friends beat Rohit and break his scooter, leaving him flustered. Rohit's mother arrives at the scene and sees him holding his broken scooter parts. She also feels heartbroken. Later Sonia comes to a cafe, confronting Nisha and Raj for attacking her son. She explains to Nisha that her son, Rohit, is mentally disabled and con when Sonia shows her that Rohit was trying to apologize to Nisha. She realizes her mistake. The next day Nisha pays a visit to Rohit. Feeling upset, Rohit goes outside and sits alone while holding back tears. Nisha then comes to his home, apologizing to him with a new bike. In the first place, Rohit doesn't, however, Raj still messes up with Rohit and gets him drunk. Eh, the two become best friends. Nisha tells her father about Rohit. One day, Rohit visits Nisha's home and gives her a rose. She kindly tells him that she is now his girlfriend, introduces him to her parents, and shows him her computer. Later, Rohit takes her to his home and shows her his father's old computer. They set it up. 
and Rohit shows her how to send the OM signal via the old computer. Rohit spends his days sitting in front of his father's old computer, sending variations of the OM signal, though he finds it entertaining. He doesn't realize the signal's true significance, it's a means of communicating with extraterrestrial beings. Until one day at night, the entire town, eventually, the power returns, but the news of the UFO spreads all over the country. Soon, the district collector orders the police to secretly look for the left-out alien. When Nisha learns about the alien from his father, she immediately rushes to tell Rohit about it. It turns out Rohit has actually encountered the alien, already in the forest for two nights. But it doesn't. The duo ventures into the jungle, helping to locate the alien. They stumble upon the little blue alien hiding in a corner and rescue him from a wild dog. They then save him from the wild dog and bring him home. They also learn that the alien has magical powers and he can heal people. They name the alien Jidu and discover that he had fled his planet following an attack by wild elephants. They also learn that Jadu draws his energy from the sun. One day, Rohit's group of kid friends unexpectedly show up. Rohit tries to conceal Jadu, but his friends eventually uncover the alien's presence. With no other option, Rohit introduces Jadu to his friends, who soon accept him as a member of their clan. They have fun together every day. Meanwhile, Raj is becoming increasingly insecure and jealous of Rohit's closeness to Nisha. He starts to spread false rumors that he, and she confronts him for his reasons. On the other hand, the rumors also affect Rohit, and he begins to lament why he couldn't have been born a normal man. Sonia comforts him and explains the accident that caused his disability. Unbeknownst to them, Jadu secretly watches Rohit's breakdown of his mental disability and decides to help him with his magical powers. While Rohit is sleeping, Jadu places his hand on Rohit's forehead and miraculously enhances his mind. Rohit wakes up with a clear vision, no longer needing glasses. He even solves a 10th grade math problem that surprises his teacher and principal. Rohit also lectures his computer teacher for belittling him as stupid and dumb. Later, when Raj's friends try to bully Rohit again, he effortlessly beats them up, and it turns out Jadu has also granted him physical powers. Jadu remains hidden from the rest of the town, secretly helping Rohit achieve many things as time goes by. One day, Rohit thanks Jadu for bringing a positive change in his life in their room. But unfortunately, as he hugs the alien, Sonia walks in, she notices the blue alien and suddenly is haunted by the horrid memories from the accident. She then attempts to call the police however. Right then, she receives a call from the school principal, who informs her that Rohit has changed a lot over the last few days. Rohit explains to Sonia that it rushes to Jadu and embraces him with gratitude. Meanwhile, gone, the city, the scene then shifts to a dance floor where Rohit dresses well for a dance competition. He is about to test out his ability, but Nisha tries to stop him to save him from the embarrassment. Out of expectation, Rohit manages to win the competition, shocking everyone on the spot. Raj and his gang also arrive at the ball, and when they try to threaten Rohit again, he challenges them to a basketball game with Jadu, but he never expects to lose in the game because on this day, Jadu is hidden in a small box. But unfortunately, due to the cloudy weather, he isn't. However, right before they are about to lose the game, the sun eventually comes out, and Jadu immediately helps his friends by bestowing them with Superman jumping powers. No doubt, with Jadu's help, the team won the competition easily. Later, Nisha takes Rohit home. He confesses his love for her in front of her parents. He also assures them that he is mentally fine and the right man for their daughter. Meanwhile, Raj and his friends start becoming suspicious of Rohit. Later that night, they circle Rohit, but Jadu accidentally falls from their grip while escaping. Rolling down the hill, Jadu stumbles forward in the back. On his daily patrol, police officer Sukwa notices Jadu in the back and immediately informs his colleagues about the alien. The police force arrives quickly and surrounds the back. But Rohit arrives just in time and escapes with his alien friend. However, Raj and his friends intercept and attack Rohit, but it easily overpowers them. The police arrive and open the bag, but find out that Jadu has already escaped, while Sukwon is calling for reinforcement. Later, Rohit is allowed to return home and reunites with his kid, friends and Jadu. He is relieved, but Sonia suggests sending Jadu back to his home planet. However, Jadu reveals that if he leaves, Rohit will lose all the powers he has gained. Even though Rohit will lose his powers, he sends an SOS signal to the aliens. Inspector Khan, along with the entire police force, arrives outside his house and accuses him of hiding the alien. They demand that he surrender Jadu to the police. Despite Rohit's protests, the authorities close in on his outhouse. Rohit tries to escape with Jadu, 
but the police apprehend them both. The authorities plan to send Jadu to America for further investigation. However, Roy refuses to let his friend go and uses his superhuman speed to catch up with the police and retrieve Jadu. As the spaceship arrives, Roy bids a heartfelt farewell to Jadu who returns his powers permanently. Rohit faces a trial for helping Jadu escape, but due to his mental state, he is eventually released. The people of his town celebrate Rohit for his heroism. Rohit reverts back to his able-bodied self. One evening, while on a walk, Misha confesses her love to Rohit, accepting him regardless of his mental state. Unfortunately, Raj and his friends harass Rohit and Nisha, but Nisha urges Rohit to ignore them. However, Rohit cannot hold back and throws Raj's ball back at him. But in a surprising twist, Jadu returns Rohit's powers permanently, and Raj is sent flying. The movie ends as Rohit and Nisha express their gratitude to Jadu and embrace their happily ever after.